Well, yeah, I uh, did one tour to Iraq and three tours to Afghanistan. Uh, so he's very well versed in having to, you know, watch the white buses drive away and uh, then be excited for me to come back. You know, he had to grow up without me on those time frames and a lot of important things of, you know, just learning how to ride a bike, go play baseball and stuff like that, where I wasn't around for a whole lot of that. Coming back, I would try to kind of smash as much stuff into that small time frame of, uh, you know, my last deployment and getting ready for my next one as I could to be able to, you know, experience his childhood with him. I couldn't believe it at first when I saw, like, felt myself in the uniform. I was like, wow, I gotta do this for three months and then I'll be in the same footsteps that my dad was 18 years ago. But anytime that I felt like, holy crap, I can't do this. I can't do this at all. I wanna quit. I just, I would think about, you know, my dad and like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this so I can be like him because I follow in his footsteps for my whole life. First time in the Bible pulled me out of the platoon and I had no idea what was going on. I was like, I was excited, got my first single bowman anchor, and then all of a sudden he pulls me aside. He says, all right, so what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna say Private Marful reports to Master Sergeant Marful. And that's when I, like, it hit me. I was like, holy crap, my dad's here. It showed me that he supported me, he was proud of me. And then uh, he pulled out the Eagle Bowman anchor that my great granddad received 70 years ago. And uh, he gave that to me. It was difficult to kind of talk to him a little bit just because I, I was really proud of him. You know, it's not something that you always think about. You know, you just think about him as, you know, being a kid, being a young, a young kid, and then he decides to join the Marine Corps. And now I think it's going to be something really that sticks with him too, because now that's something that really ties all three of us together for the rest of our lives.